Hello, uh, this is George, NE2I, Amateur Radio Call Sign. And today I'm going to uh, attempt to uh, review the Sherwood Engineering uh, products for the R4C. Uh, they are the power supply, the AMP4, that's for the audio, and the R4C product detector. Uh, I think that's the... Uh, I forget the name of it. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. And the mix for, uh, for the mixer uh, replacement boards, as you can see there. Anyway, um, this is my R4C. I got it on eBay. Uh, had to do a little work to it to get it to kind of fly. Um, had issues with, of course, the the cap power supply, uh, the caps, uh, the can caps, which I replaced already with the. The Hayseed Hamfest uh, set that they make for uh, for this radio and it looks really good. You'll see pictures of it a little bit. Um, I've already replaced the lights with the LEDs. You you can see nice and pretty there. And uh, what I'm going going to attempt to do is um, give you a little bit of audio uh, and seeing how it is basically stock, and then go through and as I replace boards to see how it sounds uh, as you replace the boards. Um, I'm going to attempt, to, well I'm probably going to wind up doing the power supply and the audio together because they kind of, those are kind of two boards that need to be changed uh, together. Uh, the power supply cannot support the original audio chain. Uh, it just draws too much current. I think it's a class A. Uh, so uh, you're going to a, a much more efficient uh, audio board, uh, audio driver with the uh, with the AMP4 system. So they kind of need to be put together um, at once. So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to uh, put the product detector in, put it all back together and see how it sounds. I'll give you a recording with that. And then uh, I'll put in the mix for. I'll put that all together, put the radio back together and show you how that sounds. Well, that, at least that's the plan. Um, it's not the most beautiful uh, R4C in the world, but uh, you know I got it really cheap. Uh, the uh, the VFO is still a little freak, a uh, little 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 freaky. Uh, it's not. Uh, I had issues. All the balls fell out, so I put them all back. I, I ordered some. You can get them at McMaster Car, um, and I'll put a uh, link in the description. And so, uh, but. It's still, I think the races are worn out, so I may re may wind up replacing the whole um, unit. I think the races uh, are a little wonky. So, uh, anyway, let me get to work, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the a recording of the original audio. Um, nothing has been done. This is Maritime Mobile Service Net here. Okay, here's another view of the rig. This rig actually already has a 600 uh, CW filter from Sherwood. It's installed right here, and there's the board for it. 
we're going to be going into the power supply section over here and over here uh, and that's pretty much it uh, again uh, this also has a weird little connector on the back I think this is for the, the switch in the 600 CW filter uh, I believe this is for the first IF other than that it's stock um, just by shutting it off uh, I could feel you could even see the heat marks right here from the power supply board and this side is really nice and warm so uh, and that's just for running it for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes this things run real hot um, it does work okay otherwise um, we're going to do a couple of mods with this. One, I heard that you can actually use TR7 um, filters for the first IF, since uh, I have a couple, and Sherwood doesn't make the sideband filters anymore. They still make the, the C 600 CW filter, um, but they do not make the sideband filters anymore. Of course, you can get them from uh, International Radio, but since I have a few, for the TR7, and there's mods out there, uh, I think on the Drake list on the Yahoo groups, there is one uh, from a ham out, uh, I believe, in Europe who's done it, and looks fairly simple. So I'm going to give that a whirl, too. That'll be in a later video. So let me get started. Here you can see uh, lots of discoloration. I've already removed some of the wires. I've uh, moved the board from the rig, uh, the ground side. There had already been some uh, previous replacements of capacitors on this board, but that'll all be done away with. Um, so we're right now we're in the process of removing wires and just getting it all out now. Here's some of the wires that removed their uh, AC positive or from this point and a couple of wires here and look at all the discoloration down there I and mean, this thing really runs smoking hot and it's totally unnecessary so uh, we'll continue there it is uh, R4C PS right there on the board there this will be gone in a minute okay here's a good one uh, there's a 12 volt line or 12 volt um, wire coming about from right here in the description they say it's white look how it's changed you can actually see it as it changes to white as it goes to the audio board this thing has so been so hot that uh, it changed color so if uh, you find that you can't find the white wire well, it might have changed its color um, eventually this this audio board is going to be gone um, but anyway, just wanted to show you that so you're not you know, um, scratching your head looking for the white wire. And by the way, I removed it from this bundle, pulled it out as, as part of the instructions, uh, I believe, to keep the hum out of the audio. Uh, you're going to root it up here, but I may just replace this, this wire. I think it's seen better days. All right, thank you. At this point, I've got the board out. This is the old audio tra uh, transistor, and this is where it was residing. I took the whole thing out as per the instructions, um, because I think the audio board that goes in here will extend into this area, so they want you to do that first. There's a shot of the Hayseed Hamfest cans. It looks nice and shiny and pretty. And uh, this also has the 100 kilohertz calibrator board actually uh, it came with the unit but I uh, had to replace the crystal because uh, it had come apart inside and it was rattling around like a tin can so and it actually worked I found one on uh, the eBay site put it in and it actually took off couldn't believe it so uh, here we're continuing on Okay, hello. Um, we are back. I am getting ready to install the the uh, amp four for the uh, 
from Sherwood Engineering. It, it goes right here, and since uh, this has already had the um, 600C mod right here uh, done, it provides a little hole for you um, to install your uh, your your holding fixture. Um, if you don't have that, then you're going to have to drill a hole, and it shows you how to do it in the instructions. Um, basically, you're wiring it to the phono jack and to the wiper of the gain pot here. Um, I've already, I've kind of moved this out. Uh, I've already disconnected the original audio driver, which is right here. Um, this is the final here. And I have to remove the driver, which is right here. I think that's, what is that? Q10. Q10 has to be removed. Um, and I'll be using that for power, actually, for the uh, one of the other mods um, that we'll be doing. Uh, that's what they say to use for power. I think that was for the um, one of the other mods. Uh, uh, but anyway, that's what it says in the instructions. I've already taken the liberty of removing it, just so I can get in there a little easier to uh, remove some of the wiring. Now, you're going to have to use some, uh, you're going to have to use your uh, schematics from the original R4C uh, schematic diagram to kind of figure out what you need to do here. The instructions are expert level, I would say. <laughs> um, they're not all that clear. It's not like you're building a Heath kit or an Ella craft where they go step by step. You kind of have to know a little bit more on what you're doing. Um, so also I have um, the um, very good um, uh, supplemental from um, K4OAH, uh, supplemental R4C um, service manual. It goes into a lot more details, great pictures. I highly recommend it if you're going to work on your R4C or your, your T4XC or whatever you, you've got. Uh, he, I know he covers um, a bunch of stuff. So highly recommend it if you're going to work or do any servicing on any of these, uh, the Drake models that he covers. I just wish he had one for the TR7. TR7, uh, that would be great. But anyway... Um, so we're working on it. We're getting there. Hopefully it's a little bit steadier for you. Uh, I have a kind of a clutch set up here uh, for the camera. Um, but anyway, um, we're going to continue onward. Uh, again, I really suggest that uh, you get this the, the service manual. You can download it anywhere on the internet uh, for this. This is an older model. So the k 4 h it isn't exactly the same as far as uh, the schematic, but you can kind of figure it out. There, there are a bunch of different versions of the R4C, um, and there's been a bunch of changes over its lifetime. So uh, just, just uh, use your head, um, go slow, and uh, enjoy the process because it is kind of fun. So um, talk to you later. Okay, back again. Back again. Uh, we've completed the Amp 4 installation. Uh, a little tight, not too, not too terrible. Um, had issues with the mount because some of these wires are pretty. They're, they're pushing up on it. Uh, might need to shorten this up a little bit, um, and I'm going to have to add some glue. Thankfully, this is not grounded, so. Um, I can glue this back on. <laughs> it's a little, little on the, on the loose side, so I'm going to glue this pad back on. Uh, what we're doing here is we're adding the output, I'm sorry, the input to the ground and the wiper. We're adding another little wire to the ground here. Uh, it's actually uh, connected to the pot already, and then connected to this framework here. Um, we're adding the output to the jack, the input jack right here. We're bypassing it with a, with a cap. Um, 
increasing side tone with this cap and what we're doing here is this red wire here is going to the output transformer's blue wire here so that's pretty much it um, we've already done the removing of the Q10 and uh, it's not too terribly bad um, just have to kind of the, the, the pictures in the instructions aren't that great so hopefully this will help especially here um, but it's not terrible at all um, we've already reaffixed this this is all set to go um, now we're going to put the covers back on see how it sounds uh, this is uh, part one well, we've changed the power supply and when you change the power supply you have you have to change the audio output because the original audio output puts too much uh, pulls too much uh, current so um, so that's where we're at right now let's see if this thing works This is kind of the result. This is the result of the um, amp four and PS modification for the R4C. Um, it sounds a little bit better. Um, I don't hear the shrill, um, nasty uh, audio like I normally would with an R4C. It kind of sounds like a TR4 now a little bit. Um, but I still hear some little cracklies, especially when you turn the, the gain down and there's no station signal. Um, so uh, that's what uh, the product detector in the Mix 4 is all about. So we'll be trying them uh, one at a time. I'm going to do them one at a time. These two had to be done together. Um, so uh, we'll give that a whirl and uh, see what difference each of those make. Uh, from the Sherwood uh, engineering modifications for the R4C. <laughs> 